Hello fellow computer enthusiasts, my name is Christian, hope you're doing well today. Welcome to a new episode of Self-Hosted Services of the Week. It's a show on YouTube where I show you a cool piece of software and how to self-host it on your server in your home lab. In this week we will talk about the dashboard software Dashi, which is really great and provides a whole dashboard to all my services and to overview and monitor all my systems in my home lab. Dashi helps you organize your self-hosted services, cause as you all know, while our home network grows and new services evolve, there's a chance to miss something and that's why we need dashboards like Dashi, to organize what we have and to make it accessible from one place. And because I'm a very lazy administrator and I don't want to fiddle around with a lot of bookmarks, URLs and IP addresses. But before we get started with installation and configuration, let's have a look on my Dashi instant and see what the software is capable of. So what you see here is my home lab starting page which contains links to most of the services in my home network. If you don't like the theme I have selected, don't worry, there is a lot of themes to choose from. But Dashi is not just a collection of links, it comes with a lot of powerful features which we will discuss later, like the status indicator for services and a lot of cool widgets, alongside multi-patch support and authentication. <music> Let's first have a look on the widgets that can be included into your dashboard. There are general ones like fetching a vulnerability feed, public holidays and sports scores, and widgets for your self-hosted services like the piehole stats, server system info and drone CI build overviews. In my home network, I use Glance as a cross-platform monitoring tool, which is very similar to Top and HTOP, but with the REST API built in to monitor all my services and makes them available on my Dashi dashboards through the system monitor widget. Really cool, isn't it? One important note is, at this point, if you want to use Glaze and add stats from other systems to your dashboard, keep in mind that course requests are only allowed from HTTPS to HTTPS locations and that you need to use a built-in course proxy by setting use proxy true to your widgets, otherwise you will get errors. As you can see, my dashboard is SSL enabled with a valid Let's Encrypt certificate. Therefore, I had to add a reverse proxy on every system that is using LANs. In my case, this is traffic and you can find the configuration for my traffic instance in my GitHub repository. So just follow the link in the video description. Another cool feature is Dashi's multi-page support, meaning that you can have additional pages within your dashboard, with each having its own configuration file. These config files can either be stored locally or hosted separately, which is really cool. That is what I have used to create the system monitoring subpages for Malphalax, Gagatolot and Marabas. And yes, all my servers are named by Warhammer 40k demons. Let me know how you name your servers. I'm really looking forward to get to know that. Write it down in the comment section of this video and you will also find a link to GitHub where you find all the Dashi configuration files that I use on my server. Deployment of Dashi is super simple and there are several methods available depending on what type of system you are using and your style of self-hosting applications. You can either deploy it on cloud services with a one-click installer via Docker or Docker Compose as I do it in my home network or build it from source and run the executable like in the good old days. Dashi works well on Raspberry Pi, so it does in my setup on a Raspberry Pi 4, but it was also tested on Raspberry Pi 3 and it runs like a charm on these small systems. Please find my Docker Compose configuration with traffic as a reverse proxy to enable SSL certificates for Dashi via Let's Encrypt also on GitHub. Links down in the video description. Thanks for watching this episode of ILTP WC. Hope you enjoyed and got some inspiration for your home lab. Let me know in the video comment section if you like the format, 
where I showcase software that you can sell for on your server and if the level of detail is fine for you or if you need more information how to install and configure and use the application. As always, I am very interested in awesome stuff for our home labs. So make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to play with computers. See you next time.